Morning, everyone. Bill Hurtado with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Frederick, Colorado. We're about 25 miles north of Denver here. So today, it's my privilege to show you a, one of our latest acquisitions. This is a 2021 Newmar Dutch Star, model 4363. This is a pre-owned unit with 28,000 miles on it. And I have been all over this thing for the last hour or so, trying to find an imperfection. And I cannot. This looks brand new inside and out. Uh, obviously, very well taken care of. So we'll, we'll have a closer look as we go around here. But let's talk about uh, this particular coach. There's a lot of enhancements on the Freightliner chassis here that I will touch upon as we go around this thing. Um, all of these things I would like to offer up to you right now as uh, a video link that I'm happy to send you that really gets into the nitty gritty about some of the aspects of this Freightliner chassis right here. So please keep that uh, in mind. Contact me, I'm happy to send you all the information I have on this thing. This is an absolute dream boat. This thing is beautiful. So let's take a look here. First off, this is a new color that they came out with earlier on, Newmar did. This is the Chatham color. Um, shades of green and white on there. It's very, very nice looking. Um, as you can see, the color scheme on this is really beautiful. At this level of Dutch Star is where we're going to get the full paint into the slide uh, area matching up to the sides. So not just a blank canvas over here on the sides of the slide. This has the high polished Alcoa aluminum wheels, Michelin tires, 28,000 miles on this. And I'll tell you, I can't really tell the difference here between brand new and this tire. So these things really wear well. They, they last a long, long time. Now, that being said, um, I have an extensive service background with RVs, and one of the things I learned back in the 80s was a way to feel your tire tread right here. Uh, I'm feeling it for changes or deviations in the tread going side to side, and fore and aft if I have any sharp edges cutting one way and not the other. These tires are wearing perfectly, so the alignment is spot on on this thing. All right, so as we're moving back here, um, Newmar does ozite lined compartments. Uh, those are mildew resistant, synthetic material, fully insulated doors. This has a single slide tray that comes out either side. And then over here, you could add another slide tray adjacent to that one if you wanted to, but it's kind of nice to have the open space for slightly taller items there. This doesn't go all the way across on this side because we have the Oasis system, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute when we get around to the other side. But I will point out here that we do have the, the uh, central vac system on this. This is right inside the half bath, which hopefully I'll remember to point out to you, but if I don't, you'll know it's right here. So that's got the sweep in feature and the hose attachments are in the very back back there. So central, obviously, central vac reaches both ends of the unit. This has the outdoor entertainment system right here with the Bose sound bar. And in case you're in a position where you get a little glare, you can certainly adjust that to wherever you want so it makes it more comfortable to watch. Couple of things on the suspension that I started to mention. This unit is equipped with V-Ride technology. So the V-Ride technology is something I would really love to send you the link to the video on from, from Numar. Um, it's magnificent. Not only does it increase your carrying capacity on here, but it limits the roll stability, or rather adds to the roll stability on this thing. Uh, so it stands up much nicer. When I go over these little deviations in the parking lot right here, I don't get the severe rocking like I do on, on other chassis. So big plus right there. 
Another thing that's important about that V-Ride technology right there is that system um, has the trailing arms that come up to cams on each side. And not to get too technical, but those cams are adjustable so that this thing tracks perfectly from the front. And that being said, it's preset from the factory to compensate for crown in the road. So that coupled with Comfort Drive, which we'll talk about a little bit when we get into the cab area. Comfort Drive is several positions of resistance into the steering wheel and self-centering. So when we have those two pieces of technology put together, this is the ultimate driving experience, not a BMW. It's this right here. All right. The third aspect of this chassis is it also has ultra steer technology. So ultra steer means that this tag axle is going to turn opposite of the front wheels when you're making a tight maneuver. And in doing so, this will shorten or lessen your diameter in a turn by 17 feet. So that's an incredible feature on this thing. In addition to that, it's also gonna keep your tires from scrubbing sideways because obviously with our drive wheel up here and all our turning tag axle back here, it's not going to be jumping side to side again like other chassis or older chassis. So that's a very nice feature right there. Uh, just wanted to point out one other thing that Newmar does on this, rather Freightliner does on this, uh, we moved from uh, a quarter mile up here on the other end of our lot over here so we could get a little bit better internet connection. And I put it in reverse, turned my wheel and started backing up. And with between one and two seconds, this thing automatically dumped the air and the tag axle back here. So again, I'm not going to be scrubbing. Uh, so it, it's just so automatic and user friendly that I'll tell you, you're, real, you're gonna really love driving this thing. I hope I get a chance to take you out and show you this thing. Um, one of the other guys has an appointment on this thing today. We'll see how that goes. But uh, this unit is a winner, I gotta tell you. So looking back here, we're back into the uh, battery section. We've got 231 series batteries. Those are starting batteries for the chassis right there with its own disconnect. Muffler access, very easy down below right there. Def tank on this side. And then moving around to the back back here, I went ahead and opened up this, this back grill. And some of you have uh, some experience with Freightliner chassis. Maybe you've uh, been concerned that Freightliner versus say a Spartan uh, doesn't have easy access to your filters. Well, obviously they've solved that problem right here. Everything is right up here at basically, you know, belt level, if you will. So that engine back there, that is the 8.9 liter uh, 450 Cummins. And just look at that thing. I mean, it is gleaming clean like everything on this unit. So 1,250 pound feet of torque on that, uh, that is, Dutch Star is the first level where we get the 450 engine. So huge upgrade right there. Side draft radiator, not mandatory, but very much sought after for people that know diesels. 30% better cooling capacity with a side draft radiator. And since you don't have the swirling air back here behind you when you're towing something, they've actually been able to increase the tow capacity on this thing. So 15,000 pound tow capacity uh, having the side draft radiator. All right, so moving on up, we got a little compartment right here with some air holes in it down there. That's just a little storage for your sewer hose. Looking up here, our wet bay outside. Let's move from left to right and I'll point some things out here for you. So we do have our winterizing valves, low point drains, uh, very easy to winterize this thing yourself. Uh, obviously the hot and cold running water right there uh, makes cleanup very nice and easy. 
And then down below that, that big gray thing with the with kind of a handle with a big round gray end on it. Uh, that's your SantaCon system. So that is a macerator pump that grinds up your waste and it will pump it out 100 feet away up to a second story window, however you want. It's an absolute wonderful system. Uh, so very easy to dump the tanks on this thing. Uh, if you so desire, you can still do it the old fashioned way with gravity, hence the sewer hose holder over there. Now we've also got uh, a way to rinse out the tank right there with a simple turn of a valve. And then you've got above that your switch to turn on your water pump and your SantaCon system. Moving to the right, you have that black valve, which is priceless in my opinion. When you're hooked up to city water, you can flip that to a manual fill position, which would be straight up and down, and that will fill that 100 gallon fresh water tank for you. Uh, when you see it shooting out underneath, you turn it back to the auto fill position and you're ready to go with a full tank of water. So that's simple. To the right of that is just the water filter cartridge, uh, the, the uh, connection for the water filter housing. Um, it is winterized right now, so we do have that taken off of there, but full water filtration system for the entire coach. And then you see you also have the retractable hose for your city water connection. Nice thing is Numar puts in these right here so your door can still be closed and looking sharp right there. So very easy to use everything, very user friendly. I love what they've done here. Moving forward here, we have a similar setup with the, uh, with the 50 amp cord. Uh, you can see the little rubber grommet down below, if you will. So that is also a power retract wheel. Uh, so it's very easy to hook up when you get to the campground. Hook up your water, hook up your sewer. Well, you don't have to hook up your sewer just yet, but hook up your electricity. Uh, everything drops down straight. Your doors can stay closed. Aesthetically, everything looks really nice. So I told you I would mention the Oasis system. The Oasis system is, an easy way to put that is it's a big vessel of glycol. And the glycol is what we call heat transfer fluid. So that big vessel right there warms up via electricity or has its own diesel fired burner. The diesel fired burner heats that thing up very fast, 15, 20 minutes, it's up to full temp. Um, electricity takes a little bit longer. Now that is a circulatory system that goes around the entire perimeter of this unit inside. So it gives you your comfort heating in that respect, but it also has the hot water lines uh, for all of the hot water areas through the unit. So unlimited hot water usage right there. Now, the one difference that I have found that Numar does versus other manufacturers is this Oasis system actually has hoses going to the engine and getting the coolant from the engine to circulate through that. So you don't have to have that system on when you're driving. It's going to heat up itself automatically. Why the other guys aren't doing it, I don't know, uh, but I know Numar does it, and I find that, again, priceless. That's a not, can't be that hard of a thing to, to run that off the engine like that, but Numar does it, and that's important. So, uh, big plus right there. That Oasis system is extremely efficient, too. Um, if you're down in single digit temperature, uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they can run their Oasis system at full temperature on the diesel fired burner for about one gallon of fuel per day. One gallon of diesel fuel per day. So well, that's pretty impressive. And of course the silent operation is a big plus. So looking over here, this is just the opposite side of where we were. Uh, looking all the way across to the other side, this is gonna be that slide tray that I mentioned, see the handle on it, so you know that comes out this direction as well. This has uh, eight 27 series AGM batteries. 
Those are also on a slide tray. So for house power, you've got uh, ample uh, electricity, uh, 12 volt power there. The one thing this unit does not have, and perhaps it was ordered in that way, uh, there's no solar on top. Well, that's, that's still okay. Um, obviously, you've got a huge bank of batteries, so you've got a lot of reserve capacity right there. But this has the uh, prep for solar from the factory standard. And they use six gauge wire at Newmar when they, power, uh, when they wire in the prep for the solar right there. So you can put a huge bank of solar on this thing very easily because everything is so easy to access. The stub of wires is already coming up on the top. Your connections for the controller inside are very easy to access. So our shop, we do solar almost every day here. Uh, it's a big deal. So if you want solar added to this thing, I can take care of you on that. We'll, we'll get it figured out. Chassis electrical up here. Not really much to talk about, but they do give you some spare fuses over here. Again, very easy to access everything, all weather tight. And this handle here is what we use to open up the front hood, which I closed it again, sorry. <laughs> um, one thing I didn't mention, when we were going around the side of this thing, up here, slightly above eye level, there's cameras on the sides. And of course we have the side cameras back here, and then we have the rear camera. So this has the 360 view uh, in your controls up in, the, up in the dash with the two screens. So another nice feature on this thing. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that superimposed 360 view, like looking straight down on the vehicle. This has a 10K Onan diesel generator. The diesel generators are extremely quiet, very smooth, long lasting. I didn't look to see, oh, I'll have to look inside on the panel, but I'm sure the hours are very low on this as well. I have seen nearly 20,000 hours on some of these generators and they still run fantastic. So Cummins really got it right. Uh, Cummins and Onan got together many years ago and uh, essentially the same company now. All right, so you've been uh, paying attention to what we saw on the outside of this thing. I certainly haven't seen a scratch or a ding or anything on this anywhere. And I would have to say, I feel it's the same on the inside. So let's go take a look at this 2021 that looks absolutely brand new. Posing slides up in the living area right here. There's our half bath. King bed in the bedroom right here. This is a full wall slide. So living room slide up there and bedroom slide here makes this a three slide unit. There's a slight rise going into the bathroom so that they can accommodate that big 8.9 liter engine back there. The master bath is absolutely wonderful on this. Now, those of you, those of you that know the Newmar floor plans might be thinking, wow, this really looks like a 4369. And it does, but the bathroom's reversed over here for one thing. Um, 4369 has been the number one seller for, I don't know, a dozen years at least. Um, so this is very similar to that. What I like better about this one though, is having the egress escape door over here on the driver's side instead of over on the passenger side. It just seems like it makes sense. Why would you want to pop out onto your patio over there when you can get over to the back side over this way? So that's why I feel like this is maybe even a little bit more desirable floor plan. Huge shower in here. That also has the teak wood seat. It has the water miser. So it saves a lot of water there. You can take nice long showers with that thing. Amazing storage in here. As you can see, it's got the built-in safe. It's got the full-length closet rod going across. That hose kit for the central vac doesn't look like it's ever been taken out of the packaging right there. 
how many miles did he say? 28,000. I know, I'm thinking just like you. Hard to believe that this thing is this clean and it just does not look like it was ever used. But to each their own, your advantage here. You're gonna win. The medicine cabinets on this one are built into the sides this way. So that's really nice when you have a dual sink set up. So his and hers is legitimately his and hers up here. Plenty of storage down below. And obviously lots of soft closed drawers throughout the entire unit, lots of storage drawer wise. I'm really happy to see that this unit has the Splendide washer dryer instead of the Whirlpool. I'm not happy with Whirlpool. Uh, we're having a lot of problems getting parts for those when we need them. Splendides have been fantastic. They've been around a long time. They definitely have it right. Much fewer or much lower failure rate on the Splendide. Splendid. So that's a huge plus. So here we are in the master bathroom, uh, master bedroom. Sorry, that was master bath. Up here, we do have lighting controls. If you're laying on the bed, those are directly above you. Uh, probably kind of tough to see up there, but a couple of panels that you can operate different things in the coach from there. Uh, we've got the lighted fascia accent lights, fore and aft on this unit, living room and bedroom king size bed and I wanted to just show you underneath here so there's two extra chairs for the dinette I'll pull the dinette table out so you can see how big that is but two leaves go with that dinette over there um, all of your manuals and everything are down in there if you aren't going to need those other two chairs pull them out leave them at home a little more storage for you for extra bedding and stuff down there. Of course, you saw the full length closet in the bath over there, but we still have his and hers over here too. And very generous drawer space underneath here, again with the soft clothes. While you're looking down here, let's talk about this for a sec. So, don't remember, it may have been, it was either 16 or 17, that Numar uh, changed their slide technology again, which over the years, everybody's copied Numar because they've always been the pioneer in slide technology. Uh, the first one I ever saw was at the Denver RV show in 1989, and uh, Numar debuted their Mountaineer with a galley slide. And I was selling B vans on the other side of that. So all day long for four days, this was going in and out. And there was a line going out the unit around the corner. Everybody had to see this slide out in a motorhome. Well, you know, they started it and they've always been ahead of the curve of everybody else since then. So give you an example. Tiffin has tried to make this same type of technology in their slides now just here a couple of years ago they tried to change things and it's nice but it's not Numar. Numar has always been the best. So the reason I'm pointing this out is because in I think it was 2016 we got rid of carpet in the slide area. Uh, Numar wanted to maintain tile all the way through so in doing so they designed this slide system to where this actually raises straight up and then comes straight in. It is a magnificent system. It works so well. Uh, you can hold the button as long as you want and it's gonna turn off when it's time. It, it, it's smarter than us, if you will. But that's how aesthetically they get this really nice uh, tile floor all the way through to everything. So. Well done, Numar. It looks fantastic. Okay, as, as we move into the galley half bath area right here, uh, we've got great storage in the pantry 
right here and all of these lock into position. So no worries about those things coming loose or moving around. Um, nice residential fridge right here. Let's take a good look at this thing. Maybe, maybe there's been some use, but I really don't see it. It looks, again, like everything else on this unit, absolutely brand new. Residential fridge is kind of the trendy thing nowadays. Uh, it cools down much faster. Um, it doesn't require being level. So in here, let me go ahead and step in because this is the half bath. And inside here, we've got a panel with fuses and breakers. Over here, we've got fuses. Everything is marked as to what they handle over here. So very easy to get to. Again, eye level is a key component in my opinion. Little bit of a corner shelf right here for extra stuff. But of course, this is the half bath. This is maybe the guest bath, if you will, or his bath, ladies, right? Um, and of course, you know, the articulating door right here, because when that slide comes in, a full length door trying to squeak, uh, swing out there is gonna hit the refrigerator. So Newmar does that kind of cantilevering door right there. All right, so great setup. The galley, I don't have the generator going right now. I have everything on inverter. So I've powered up all of my outlets and everything in here. As you can see, I'll be able to use the microwave convection combo if I so desire. These sink covers have the cutting boards on the other side. And just wanted to point out when you see, when you see this cutout right here, then you know that this induction cooktop will lift out of there and you can take it outside and plug it in, say on your slide tray outside. So you can cook outside with your induction plugs in out there as well. Over here, for those techie guys that like to have a lot of remote controls, got you covered. There's a lot here. I won't get into the full aspect of all those, but this is a really nice one right here. So this has the power MCD shades on it. And let's see if I can figure out, I'm on passenger side, sofa, day. Oh, there we go. It was already down. So I've got it going up right now. I can do all the shades at once. I can do individual shades on here. Um, if I select night shade, passenger side, night, number four. Oh, I've got it up there. Those are number four up there by the driver or rather passenger. And of course, across the front behind that front television, I've got a day and night shade. Um, so that works like a visor for when you're driving east late in the day, west early in the morning, that sun's down on the horizon right there. You can bring that shade down and assist you in, in driving without having to wait for the sun to get out of the way. So power shades in this, really magnificent, really, really nice feature. Again, soft coast drawers. This one has the dishwasher built in. Ah, dishwasher's not on inverter. Can't open it, sorry, the electric lock's there. Basically, I could start the generator or get this plugged in at a campsite, push my last button right here, it unlocks, and then I can slide that out, but no need at this point. So, amazing amount of storage in this kitchen. It doesn't look big, but there's a lot of nice room for everything in here. You can use a, uh, do a wastebasket right there, uh, uh, maybe even two if you so desire. Uh, room for back in here, you can see where those covers for your sink and your cooktop will slide in and lock into place and get out of the way. All right, so this particular one, 
was brought in with the theater seating over here that has the lighted cup holders, the power loungers built in right there. It's got USB connections. It has a huge center area here with lots of storage. And while I'm here, I might as well hit my televator switch and you can, oh, I pushed it twice. So if you don't want the view out the window, you can watch TV straight across from your theater seating. I mentioned under the bed, we had those two extensions. So those will obviously go in right about there, making this that long. So here's where your two other chairs would sit out here. Realistically, you could probably put six people at this thing. All right, so electric heated floors all the way through the tile in this unit. Um, if you've never experienced electric heated floors, <laughs> I gotta tell you, it's one of the greatest things I have ever seen. I, I think I first saw it in a country coach back in the early 2000s. And it is amazing how it is such a perfect, even amount of heat through the entire unit. A forced air furnace is going to give you um, a lot of heat up high and it's still gonna be very cold down below. It's also gonna keep that tile very cold with a forced air furnace. So having the warm heated floors right there, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and extend an invitation to you right now. Please come and see me on a cold day. I'm gonna let you come inside and take your shoes off and feel that heated floor. It is out of this world. It's one of the greatest feelings ever. So big plus on that. This has a large sofa with hide a bed built in down below there. So that's essentially another queen size, but it's an RV queen. So it's only about 76 inches long. Bose sound bar for this TV over here. This particular unit does have the uh, extra wide um, passenger seat or co-pilot seat. Both of these, of course, will swing around and face this way. And Dutch Star has larger screens up here, uh, be it for our entertainment system or our 360 view camera system. Um, I won't get into a whole lot of this because I want you guys to call me and let me send you some videos on this. The OptiView dash right here is a system called Roadwatch. And I wanna send you information on all this stuff. So the 60 degree wheel cut up in the front, the brake sink, if you wanna tow uh, something back there, say with your Air Force One air system, the drive tech, how the controls now are shifting here. This is three positions of, of braking, uh, engine brake right here. The road watch, how they've integrated everything into the controls right here, and it's a customizable OptiView dash. There's so much to talk about. We, I would use up all the film on this, on this right now if I was trying to go through everything. I mentioned the Ultra Steer and the V-Ride. I have information on all this stuff. Very simple links to click on and watch the videos from Numar. It's really fantastic. So there's so much here that makes this the ultimate driving experience. It really is. It's BMWs are nice, but they certainly can't handle something like this. Um, I would uh, urge you to take the time and give me a call so I can go over this stuff with you. My information should be down on the bottom right there. My cell number is 714-809-4813. My name is Bill Hurtado with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Bill.Hurtado at transwest.com. Um, don't get confused with the 714 number. That's a Southern California cell phone number, but we are here in Frederick, Colorado, 25 miles north of Denver. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks for taking the time to watch.